Hi, my name is Kees and this video is about the importance of allowing emotions. So emotions, they often get stuck in us. Emotions, they aren't allowed to flow. You could say in a way society is asking of us to control our emotions, not to get angry, not to get too sad, not to start crying. Right, but to control emotions. And also inside of us, in our minds, in our feelings, in our bodies, a lot of people suppress emotions. And this has to do with us not wanting to feel sad, not wanting us to feel angry, not wanting us to feel annoyed, and seeing that as a negative emotion. And that idea of a negative emotion is the reason why we're suppressing it because we feel it's negative because we feel it's a problem while well, actually it's normal it's good it's a contrasting experience you could say something which we like is something we want more of something we don't like a contrasting experience for example is something which allows us to then make up our minds about what we do want about how we do want to act or maybe it can point us to something we need to let go of or work on. So it's either you're learning or you're having a good time, basically. So all of these feelings that are labeled as negative are not negative. They're feelings that you basically learn from. They're teachers. And if you suppress emotion in general, if you suppress negative emotion, you also suppressing positive emotion because you can't suppress one without the other. It's very much linked together. So if you're suppressing, that means you lead a suppressed life, right? You can't experience the deep happiness. You can't experience the deep love. You can't experience the deep being because you're not allowing it. The only thing you are allowing is the shallow feelings, perceptions and thoughts. But all your life energies and your power is down your belly, your gut brain, your emotional brain. That's the connection to your real energies. They're really close to you. And they're really important because they're your guidance system. They help you what to do, what not to do. They help you to become sensitive to who you really are, to what works for you, what doesn't work for you, to where your passion is or what, where your passion isn't is. It's a clear indicator, very clear. And it's also a power you can feel from people if they're in touch with their emotions. Right? If they're not in touch with their emotions, you don't feel that power coming from them. So emotional power is very important. And you only get that by accepting and allowing emotions in general to be there. By not seeing them as bad, by not seeing them as a problem, but allowing them. And through allowing our emotions, we get to our intuition. Right? We get to our deeper sense of self by allowing our emotions. So most of my clients are at a level where they're experiencing their thoughts. They're experiencing their life from this perspective of a limited sense of self because they don't allow their emotions. So they have a lot of pent up emotions and so sometimes subconscious trauma. And they can't really access that deeper layer of themselves of intuition and power. And that is something which requires you, deeply requires you to look inside and to allow whatever comes up to come up. And that is a process in which you go from survival to thriving. And it takes time. But the results are beautiful. So start allowing those emotions. 
even though the anger, the crying, the irritation, or the numbness in general can feel very big at the beginning. Allow it to be there, my friend, and you'll see that your original power will come up. Much love to you. Namaste. Bye, my friend.